not only joy is come, but peace is come. For unto us a child has been born, and his name is Emmanuel, which means God is with us. He is with us, he is before us, he has gone ahead of us. And God himself has been named as well, Father forever, God hero, Prince of Peace. And today we worship that name above all names, the name that the word that became flesh and dwelt among us to know our suffering, to experience our pain, and to give us joy in the midst of them. Let us continue to worship the sweetest name of all names, our King of Kings. Lord Jesus, we worship you and we adore your name today. We lift your name on high. And we thank you for more than 2,000 years ago. Just lift up your heart, Lord. Lift up your hands. Just sing a song of praise.
we will see you January 8th. Okay? For the next feast, do not be absent. You have to come on the January 8th. Kasi meron akong surprise guest. Ang clue para malaan nyo lang, hulaan nyo na lang ng buong season, ha? Mag-usap kayo sa pamilya. Sino kaya ngayon? Gusto nyo may clue? Gusto nyo? Ang clue ay silver. Yun lang. Mahala na kayo mag-isip, ha? Basta silver. Siya yung guest natin sa January 8th. Alright? God bless you. See you January 8th. Let's come before our God and believe that today God will speak to us as always. In the name of the Father and of the Son, the Holy Spirit, Amen. And let us pray our favorite prayer together. Today, I receive all of God's love for me. Today, I open myself to be unbounded, limitless, overflowing abundance of God's universe. Today, I open myself to God's blessings healing and miracles today i open myself to god's word so that i become more like jesus every day today i proclaim that i am god's beloved i am god's servant i am god's powerful champion and because i am blessed i am blessing the world in jesus name amen Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. We're going to read from Luke chapter 2, verses 1 to 7. Read with me. In those days, Caesar Augustus issued a decree that a census should be taken on the entire Roman world, and everyone went to their own town to register. So, Joseph also went up from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea to Bethlehem, the town of David, because he belonged to the house and line of David. He went there to register with Mary, who was pledged to be married to him and was expecting a child. Sabi nga, expecting. While they were there, the time came for the baby to be born. And she gave birth to her firstborn, a son. She wrapped him in clothes and placed him in a manger because there was no guest room available for them. Just to let you know that this passage is a very Jewish culture na ang kultura ng Hudyo ay napaka-hospitable. Kaya hindi ho totoo kung mapanood nyo man sa play, sa TV na Pumapunta si Maria, kumakatok sa pintuan ng ibang bahay, tapos sinasarahan sila, sinusupladuhan sila. Hindi totoo yun. Actually, they went to the inn. Ang inn ay hotel nung araw. Ang itsura ho ng hotel nung araw ay ang division ng kwarto mo at kwarto ng ibang tao ngayon ay pader, pinto, noon, kurtina. Kaya ayaw silang papasukin sa inn, hindi lang dahil maraming tao, kundi walang privacy. Kayong mga babae, gusto nyo bang mga anak na nakikita kayo ng lahat? Ayaw nyo nun. Kurtina lang ang, ang pangtakit. Kaya sabi ng mga innkeepers, to have privacy for you, go to the manger, to, to the stable. Doon ka na lang kung saan pinapanganak ang hayop. Walang tao dyan, panay hayop. At doon sila pumunta. Tapos anong meron? Yun ang tanong ko. Doon sa stable kung saan? ipinanganak si Jesus. Nung pinanganak siya, saan siya nilagay? Anong tawag doon? Sabsaban. Ang tawag doon ay manger. I would like you to look at this. This is a manger. Tingnan niyo yung higaan ni Jesus. Sa ilalim ng higaan ni Jesus ay lahat ng mga envelopes natin. Yung mga panalangin natin hindi pa nasasagot. Ipagdadasal po natin yan mamaya. Ha? Pero ito ang sabsaban ni Jesus. Kung ang bata ay ihiga mo rito, masasaktan siya. Bakit? Matigas po ito. Masakit yan. Kahoy yan eh. Kaya anong dapat nilalagay? We have to put hay. We have to put straw. At ito yun. Ito yun, mga kapatid. Ito yung dapat nilalagay. Para ano? Para komportable ang higa ni Jesus. My one big message for you in this talk is this. 
for you to give comfort to Jesus, you have to be kind. Because your kindness will give comfort to Jesus. Pag ikaw ay mabuti, anong ginagawa mo? You give comfort to Jesus. Para yung higanya masarap. Tama na ang pagtitingin sa sarili na dapat masaya ko at masarap ngayon. We have to look to Jesus now and give comfort to Him. And we can see Jesus through others. And once we do that, we are given as well that joy that we needed. Put your hands over your heart. Close your eyes. Bow down your head. And let the Lord speak to you today. Let the Lord remind you that He is kind to you always. Say this prayer after me. Jesus, I will listen to you. I will follow you. And I know, I believe, my miracles are coming. I pray this and claim them in your name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. Give the Lord a big hand and bless His name. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. As you sit down, tell people around you, God will speak to you today. Your kindness gives comfort to Jesus. Let us be kind, especially to people we love this season. Alam nyo ba na malaki ang kaibahan ng goodness and kindness? Tingnan nyo nga yung katabi nyo. Is that person good? Tingnan nyo. Good? Mukha naman, ano? Mukhang good. Pero ang tanong, is he kind? Is she kind? Ang goodness at kindness, hindi siya pareho. I believe everybody here is good. But not everybody is kind. So our kindness will give comfort to Jesus. Be kind, not just to animals. Be kind to people you love. Naalala ko merong isang mister. Ano siya? May konting problema sa pagsasalita. Parang ngongo ng konti. Tapos yung misis niya, nagtatrabaho sa bahay, housewife. Tapos Pasko, malapit na yung Pasko. So yung mister, gusto niyang sorpresahin yung misis. Kaya lang yung misis, parang palaging galit, naiinis. So galing sa trabaho, umuwi itong mister. Pag uwi niya, sinurpresa niya si misis. Nakatalikod, naglilinis ng pinggan. Tapos tinakpan niya ang mata. Gusto niyang pangitiin yung misis niya. Tinakpan niya ang mata tapos sabi niya, Nges ho! Nges ho! Guess who? Nges ho! Alam mo sabi ng misis, Guess who? Guess who ka dyan? Ikaw lang ngongo dito. <laughs> Pag minamahal ka at pinapakitaan ka ng kabutihan, do not reject it. This Christmas, brothers and sisters, I would like you to accept love to accept kindness from people you love. Tingnan nyo nga yung katabi nyo, mahal nyo naman yan eh. Sabi mo, be kind to me. Ano pa ang kindness? Again, kindness gives comfort to Jesus. What else is kindness? Kindness is making people smile this season. May mga pinangingiti na ba kayo sa Paskong ito? Pangitiin nyo sila kahit kaaway ninyo. Bigyan nyo ng regalo sa Paskong ito. Ha? Huwag kayong magregalo ng granada. Ha? Regalo ng ngiti. Let others smile. Make them laugh. Make them smile. Kaya ako napansin nyo, nagbibigay ako ng mga jokes sa feast na ito. Ako sa akin, yung joke ko, ikwento nyo sa mga kaibigan nyo. Para matawa sila. Parang umiti naman sila sa nila, oh nga, nakakatawa yun, ano? Make people smile. That is kindness. 
also. So I asked the music ministry to make a smile with their presentation. Are you ready? Let's give a big hand to Feast Bellevue Music Ministry. When we make people laugh, smile, we are kind to them. And our kindness gives comfort to Jesus. Sabi mo nga ulit sa katabi mo, Be kind to me. Manlibre ka. <laughs> kindness also is thinking not just about you, but thinking about other people. Kaya ngayong Paskong ito, pag-isipan natin, sino yung mga taong mas nangangailangan kaysa sa akin? Kaya I encourage you to look beyond yourself so that you can see the needs of others. Kasi marami hong tao ang kulang sa pag-ibig. Itong Paskong ito, maniwala kayo sa akin. Maraming tao malulungkot. Tanong nyo sa akin, bakit? Tanong nyo ba, bakit? Mataas ang expectations. Tapos pag hindi natupad, ang lungkot. Ang expectations ng marami ngayong Pasko, marami akong pera, may bonus. Tapos pag tanggap ng bonus, may tax. So ang samahan ng loob kasi, kala ko ganito, mababa pala. Yung iba, grabe expectations, marami akong kakainin, tapos wala masyadong makain. 
kumain ng minudo, panay pasas, panay patatas, di ba? Ano to? Yung, yung antasang expectations kasi. Kaya huwag kayo masyadong maniwala na masasaya na mga tao. Hanapin nyo sila, baka kilala nyo sila at malungkot sila. Kilala nyo yan. Marinig lang ang kantang ito, umiiyak na. Pasko na, sinta ko, hanap, hanap kita. Bakit nagtatampo? Nilisan ako. Kung mawa... Tingnan niyo yung katabi niya. Parang umiiyak na. Ha? Huh? <laughs> diba? Magpatugtog lang ng music. Daman-daman na niya. Ang talagang lungkot ng Pasko. You look for them. Because there are a lot of people now who are not so, so happy like you. Share that joy to others. Make also that prayer. Because that is kindness. And your kindness will give comfort to Jesus. I ask our musical director to sing a song of reaching out to others, making others concerned a wish list this Christmas. Let us welcome Lyra Lim Isidoro. Right, we're always free. 
This is my only life long wish. This is my grown up Christmas. Your kindness gives comfort to Jesus when you reach out to others. Our community, the Light of Jesus family, many years ago, we've been trying to grow as much as we can, but ang pinaka-maximum na nung araw ay 2,000 members. And then there was a wave of the Spirit that came, and we call it the first wave of the Spirit. We opened many feasts all over Metro Manila and now we open many, many feasts all over the world. And just to tell you this, brothers and sisters, we have 133 live feasts globally. 133 like this live feast, And we've been reaching many, many people. And just to let you know that Feast Bellevue alone Tayo pa lang ay yung miyembro na nung, ng buong Light of Jesus nung araw. Dalawang libo ho tayo dito. Kaya kanina nahirapa kayo mag-park kasi hindi pa umaalis yung isang libo mahigit. Ayaw nila akong iwan. Yung talagang everybody wants to stay here and eat shomai. Yun talaga yan. Ha? Kasi mamimiss nila ng tatlong linggo ito. But we are growing. Why are we growing? Let me give you the magic formula. Instead, uh, except from God blessing us with His grace, there is a magic here. You want to know the secret? You want to know the magic? We have volunteers who serve with me here at the feast. And these are great people. And we love our volunteers. Hindi ho sila binabayaran. Naglilingkod sila. At ang kanilang paglilingkod ay pagpapakita sa atin ng kabutihan. Their service is kindness to us. And because they serve, their kindness give comfort to Jesus. I would like to call on our servants on stage, lahat po ng volunteers ng Feast Bellevue, our leaders, our servants. Come up, join me here. Let's join us. Ay, mali pala yan, no? Here are our volunteers and servants of the feast. Bellevue. Hati ay kumakain sa baba. Nakita ko sila. Yun po ang ginagawa nila sa pagitan ng feast na ito, sila ay kumakain. And these are volunteers. No one pays them anything. Wala akong bayad lahat yan. Pinaglilingkuran tayo. Yung iba po dito, alas 6 pa lang ng umaga nandito na. Pinagdadasal yung mga upuan ninyo. Pinagda, hinahawakan nila yan eh. Tapos sinasabi na, Panginoon, lahat ho ng uupo dito, buksan nyo ang puso. Tapos may holy water silang hawak. Winiwisikan nila yung upuan ng holy water at sinasabi, Panginoon, kung meron ditong nakaupo na may masamang espiritu, pal- alisin nyo. Ilipat nyo sa kabila. Ha? Ang ganaan. <laughs> Yung talagang they pray for you, but not just here, but every single day. Your prayers dito, yung sinusulat nyo dito sa love offering envelope nyo, ay pinagdadasal ho yan. Hindi lang yon. Marami pang ginagawa ang mga taong ito. And they are not paid to do that. We are growing because these people 
are kind to animals. <laughs> They're kind to us. Ako, amazed ako. Dumarating ho ko dito, tapos na yung unang misa. Sila kanina pa dito. Kanina pa. Ganun ho ang mga taong ito. At yung iba, hindi nyo makikita sa stage kasi they cannot leave their posts. Kung hindi, hindi mangyayari po ito talaga. Kaya I would like you to look at them and I invite you to be part of our wonderful family of servants serving here at the feast. Let's give a big hand to them. Salamat din sa inyo sa mga regalo niyong binigay sa akin. Kilala niyo kung sino kayo. Sa mga hindi pa nagre-regalo sa akin, kilala niyo rin kung sino kayo. Ha? Ha? These are our servants. We really invite you. This is a very happy family. Ang saya-saya ng pamilyang naglilingkod sa Diyos. Kaya yung iba rito, tingnan niyo na yung mga itsura nila. Mga masasamahong tao yan nung araw. Grabe ho ang karumal-dumal na buhay yan. Nung naglingkod, binago ng Diyos. Ako na ho ang pinakamabait dito. Lahat sila masasama. No? Yung, yung, the, the ministry changed our lives. Without the serving, I am not sure if we're still here. Ako po, kung hindi ako naglingkod sa Diyos nung bata ako, hindi ako sure kung ako ay nandito sa buhay na ito. Baka hindi tayo nagkita. Pwedeng nagkita tayo, pero ibang pagkakataon, nakamotor ako at may utang ka sa akin. Hindi ako preacher. But because I served, it changed my life. And I believe these people, the Lord has been changing their lives because they came to serve. They were kind, but God's kindness gave it, gave it back to them a hundredfold. Let's give a big hand again to you. Thank you so much. For, for everything that you have done. Thank you. Thank you. Your kindness gives comfort to Jesus. Bumalik na kayo sa mga showmay niyo. The first wave of the growth of the Light of Jesus family happened seven years ago. And that's, we opened 133 live feasts globally. But now, after seven years, we are now in the second wave of the Spirit. And I encourage you to be part of the second wave. And to explain to us and tell us the good news of the second wave, he is the one in charge of this in our district. I would like you to welcome the feast builder of Wednesday Festival Feast in Alabang, WFFA, Jay Yogawe. Merry Christmas, Feast Bellevue! I'm so happy just to be here with you and to greet you Merry Christmas and also a Happy New Year. But I'd like to also introduce to you something new. No? Um, who are looking forward to something new this 2017? Are you looking? Ayan, ayan, ayan. Wonderful, wonderful. Tignan niyo pa yung mga katabi ninyo. Kailangan ba niya ng pagbabago? Ayan, okay? Brothers and sisters, get ready for something new because after the first wave, of our community, my second wave. Mahulaan nyo kaya ano ang second wave na ito. Alright? What is this second wave? This second wave, I tell you, brothers and sisters, blew our minds. The builders, the people, the leaders of our community, when we apparently found out through Brother Bo, sabi niya, ito na. This is the next step. The next frontier, kumbaga. Are you ready? This is the second wave, brothers and sisters. Everybody, could you read it? The feast video. 
Brothers and sisters, the feast video for many people is a mystery. Kasi, sanay na sanay tayo sa live feast, di ba? At saka, saya ng live feast. Ano ba na yan? Feast video na yan? Parang nanood lang ako ng YouTube. <laughs> Yung ganyan, di ba? But brothers and sisters, believe you me, I was also flabbergasted when I first did the feast video. I also did a feast video in Baguio. And I tell you, it also changed a lot of lives. Ano ba itong feast video na ito? Hindi ito uh, malakihang event, hindi po katulad nito, may music ministry, etc. Ang feast video, ang kailangan lang po, pakitan mo sa akin, ilan? Sambung tao lang. Yun na. At isa lang ang leader. Alright? Let me explain a little bit. Our mission is still the same. To make Disciples. So, maayos niya na, still the same, make disciples, alright, to follow Jesus. Our model, as I've said, hindi maraming tao, 10 people lang ho, more or less, 10 people lang. At ang leader, isa lang tao, ang manpower na kailangan natin, isa lang. Ano ang tawag sa kanya? Dito sa live feast, ang tawag sa leader natin ay builder. Sa feast video, ano po? Medyo maganda-ganda. Nag-complain nga ako ng konti. Eh. But mas, parang mas maganda ang dating nito. You know what? Ang tawag sa kanya, emissary. O, oh, di ba? Pag-isabi nga, emissary. Okay? Tingnan po ang katabi ninyo. Mukha ba yung emissaryo? <laughs> no? Unang-una, ano ba ang emissaryo? No? Hindi maintin niya, ano ba ang emissary? Okay? The emissary, alright? Parang it's a person who is sent also. To represent another person, right? Okay? So here, ang, ang leader, parang, I am sent by the Lord to bring the feast to you. We don't bring the people to the feast. Ito, dadalhin ko ang feast sa inyo. Dadalhin ko si Bo sa inyo. Pero hindi live. Video. Ganyan, right? Brothers and sisters, in one hour, you'll be able to play a video. Sabi nga nung leader, ng feast video that person uh, I will introduce later ang kailangan mo lang ay hintuturo bakit? marunong ka bang pumindot ng laptop din pwede tignan niyo po ang katabi ninyo may hintuturo ba yan? ayan no kaya ba niyang pumindot? Yan, no? baka pwede nang maging emissary yeah? let me explain a little further this is the person who said that swing ayan Brother Rudy Maliari. For those who are here with the light of Jesus, alam nyo pong, he is one of the eldest, right, of the elders. No, if not, the eldest. Alright? Sabi ni Brother Bo, ikaw nang bahala sa feast video. Kasi nga, mas magandang feast video. Kasi pag nagpre-preach ka, ang mga audience nagiging peaceful. Ganun, no? Kaya better na lang mag-video na lang kaysa naman maantok-antok ang mga, ang mga tao. Ganun, eh, no? Kasi nga medyo matanda na si, si Brother Rudy. But it's not really about that. Sinabi pa nga ni Brother Bo, may arthritis ka na rin. Ganyan, no? Pero again, it's not really about that. It's about this. Simple lang ang feast video. E pag feast, ang dahil mong i-prepare. Tama? Di ba? From outside, Okay? All the people who will greet you, the materials, the sound system, the preparation, ang grabe. Pero ang feast video, kailangan mo lang laptop. Yun na. Alright? And a little knowledge of how to operate it. Brothers and sisters, ito ang sinabi ni Brother Bo tungkol sa feast video. Believe you me, ito ang sinabi niya. Read it. I believe the second wave will be bigger. Then the first wave. Grabe. Ano yung first wave? Live feast. Second wave? Video feast. Feast video. Alright? Grabe. Kasi may, may paniniwala si Brother Bo. And I'd like to share it with you. It is this. Together, I believe God wants LOJ to be a multiplication movement. Pakisabi multiplication. That's not based on our abilities or intelligence or money, but on... His power. Kasi nga ho, pag builder, medyo may skill. Tama po ba? Are you blessed by the builders here in Feast Alabang? Grabe, talaga. No? I, I'm so blessed to be under the leadership of Brother Arun. Grabe talagang pagbumbay ang boss mo. 
you know, <laughs> talagang you're driven, you're motivated, and as the whole team, I'd like to say, of course, this is um, this is of course biased. Okay, ang mga builder ng alabang grabe, parang kwa ni. Kura na lang Backstreet Boys. Parang gano'n, no? parang boy band, pwede na. But the point here is this, specialized, tama po ba? May training po kami, we, we do certain things that are, that are not usually done by the ordinary person. Medyo mahirap ng konti bago ka makarating doon. Okay? However, dito, sinasabi ni Brother Bo, let's not depend totally on just specialized skill. Let's the trust in God's movement, even through ordinary persons, as long as you are willing to serve. Who are willing to serve the Lord here? Check ko. Ayan, grabe. Yung mga iba nag-iisip. But parang, nako baka ako ma- <laughs> matawagan dito. Brothers and sisters, the feast video can be done practically by anyone who is called by the Lord. Are you called to start a feast video. Just to share with you, marami na hong sumagot sa call ni Lord. Ito pong babang ito. Si Ate Suzette. Sino siya? Siya po ang katulong ni Brother Bo. Nalaman niyo po yung kwento ni Brother Bo, my, my maid, okay, invests in the stock market. Ay, hindi lang siya nag-invest ng stock market. Naging emissaryo rin siya. And now, ang sabi ni Brother Bo dyan, my maid is an emissary. Grabe, no? Pwede maging emissary kahit maid. In another area, um, Akasha Estates, okay? Yung katulong nung isang feast emissary na involved sa feast video. Nag-isip siya, magtatayo rin siya. Nagtayo siya ng feast video para sa mga katulong. Dun sa compound. Imagine, ang mga kasama niya, kapwa niya katulong, tapos may nangyari. Ask me what? Sumama yung amo nung isang katulong. At ngayon, sumasama na yung mga amo sa feast video. Amen? Palapakan naman natin si Lord. No, pwede. Pwede pala. You don't need to be a person of stature to bless other people. You can actually influence down side, even upward, and bless other people too. Brothers and sisters, ito pa! Ito si Jel, si Angelo Merced. Why is he quite special? He is because he has a condition known as cerebral palsy. Alam niyo ba yung cerebral palsy? Alright, ano yan? Yung walang coordination, yung, yung katawan, yung wangin nito. Tapos hirap mag... Ganyan. Actually, emisaryo siya. Medyo ako'y nahihirapan nga. Paano kaya niya pinipindot, no? Pero, ito ang nangyayari. Naggagawa niya. At ano nyo, ilang beses? Apat na beses. Four sessions po ang kanyang feast video. Grabe! Grabe talaga! He shared in our Kerigma Conference. Nung Kerigma Conference, katatapos ng November, he shared his experience in Kerigma Conference. Lahat kami umiiyak. Kasi, my golly, this person, right? Um, maybe what judged by the society has limited means. Kagawa ng feast video, parang wala ka ng rason, <laughs> di ba? Na hindi ikaw. Ito pa, baka sabi niyo, hindi may rason ako. May, para sa mga bata na yan, mga video video, hindi ko alam yan. Ito po ang ating isang emisario. Shui. Elizabeth is 77 years old. And she is an emissary. Tingnan niyo po yung katabi ninyo. Pakitapik, pakisabi, ilang taon ka na. <laughs> Qualified ka pa rin sa feast video. And so brothers and sisters, what is Bo trying to do? Do you want to bless the world? Yes? Brother Bo is now doing that through the feast video. Ang idea is this, ano sabi natin kanina? Multiplication. Pakisabi nga, multiplication. Ang live feast kasi addition eh. Di ba? Addition, addition, addition. Ang multiplication, isa dito, ayan, ayan, grabe talaga, parang gremlins. Sino nakakaalam ng gremlins dito? Ayan, na-obvious po ang mga edad. Yan, no? Dapat wisikan lang kayo ng tubig parang dumami. Ganyan. Brothers and sisters, 
multiplication indeed, and I myself will not, will not stop until also I can share this to Baguio. And thus, I established Feast Video Baguio around two years ago. And I'll go very quickly. The ball, we have it in El Chelito Inn every 6.30 on Fridays. Alright? Noong nagsimula po, 12 lang po kami. Kakaunti lang kami. Tapos biglang, nagtanap kami ng place. May isang hotel, biglang nang sabi, okay, good for 100 pesos. Uh, 100 people. 1,500. Lang? Including LCD. Ha? Huh? Grabe. Tapos ito pa. Ano? Ask me ano? Inclusive na rin ng pagkain. Grabe. Nung 1-5 ba? Yung 1-5 lang, no? Ano? <laughs> Brothers and sisters, sabi ko, kung hindi yun ito anointing, ano pa ba? Sige na nga, Lord, gawin na namin. And sure enough, ito na po kami ngayon. This is Feast Video Baguio. Go on. Go on, next slide, please. Ayan, yan po. Yan po. Ito po, hindi, hindi nag-feast, pero naka-raise ang hands, umiiyak, nabibless po sila. Yan po sila. Uh, led by certain leaders. Ito po yung mga leaders namin. Okay, ayan. Mga may, may young, meron yung not so young dyan. Okay. And then, meron ba kami super young? Ayan. Mga bata na serve na kids ministry. Alright, no? kasama na. Alright. Here we have our lead couple. They are a young couple. Ito po sila. Buntis po. Alright. Yung babae. Kapapanganak lang last week. Ayan. And uh, pwede, pwede maging emisaryo. Ito po yung mga iba pang leaders. And I just met them yesterday. I went to Baguio and we just celebrated a Christmas gathering. And then after that, we went together. Yan o. No? Pwede namang informal. Madali lang. Kasi sampu lang. Huwag kayo ma- ma-intimidate yung... yung grupo na yan kasi gusto ho nilang maging feast kaya dumami na po kami at nagdadasal pa ho kami para magkaroon ng feast bagyo alright but the feast video can be done by just parang ganyan lang 10 sa isang restaurant sa isang office sa isang clinic sa isang community pwede basta mag-click ka lang ayos na pwede kaya yon tingnan niyo po yung katabi ninyo pakitanong sa kanya kaya mo ba yan yeah, no? Friends, just to end my talk, it's this. To talk about multiplication, it's this. Iniwan ko na po ang bagyo. Sila na akong bahala nag-aayos ng bagyo. Tapos nagulat na lang po ako. Ask me why! Kasi biglang may bagong feast video bagyo na. We opened a new feast video. Ito po in Bahaking, another area. Sila na po ang nagsimula niya. Hindi ko alam. Brothers and sisters, the good news can bless the world. And all God needs is a person who will say yes. Friends, ikaw ba to? You think you're alone? Or ikaw to? You think you're not capable? O siguro ito? Right? You think you're old? Or you're not ready for it? I tell you, brothers and sisters, Brother, said, Brother Bo said, I believe the second wave will be bigger than the first wave. Not by our power, but by the power of God. And true enough, friends, today, we are 136 feast videos globally. 136 na lamang na ng tatlo sa live feast. Hindi natin alam, ngayon pa lang, meron nang nag-register. Kasi paano magsimula? Gusto niyo malaman kung paano magsimula? Ito lang po. Click on this website. And go and register. And you're on the way to be an emissary to bless the world. Brothers and sisters, remember, every time you do a feast video and bring Jesus to groups of people, you also comfort Jesus because His mission will now happen. Akala nyo ba si Jesus nung umakyat na siya sa heaven, okay na? Iniwan niya sa mga apostoles. Tama? Ang mission? Amen? 
Sabi daw ni, ni si Angel Gabriel, ano ba naman yan, Jesus? Iniwan nyo sa isang fisherman lang, ordinary people. What's your plan B? What's your plan B? Tapos sabi ni, ni Jesus, wala akong plan B. Sila ang plan A ko. Yung ordinaryong tao. Sila na. I trust them. Brothers and sisters, is God calling you to answer the mission? Click on that. Talk to me. Pray about it first. And together, let us make disciples for Jesus. God bless you and Merry Christmas. Bago-bago Pag-ibig ko ay Totoo Ako Ang iyong bangka Kung magalit man Ang alon Ng panahon Sabay na Iyong
Huwag ka na umiyak Our kindness gives comfort to Jesus. Let's all stand, brothers and sisters. The Lord is very kind to you. This whole year, He has been kind to you. The Lord has healed you. The Lord has provided for you. God has surrounded you with so much love and kindness. This time, give that kindness to others. And give comfort to Jesus. Put your hands over your heart, brothers and sisters. Close your eyes and just bow down your head. Let the Lord continue to answer your prayers. Let the Lord continue to overflow you with His love. So that you can share that love to the ends of the earth. Father in heaven, these are your people. Some of us are not so happy. May kulang, Panginoon. Inihiling ko, punuin mo, Panginoon, ang kakulangan na ito. Meron kaming mga kasama dito, Panginoon, na natatakot pag ganitong panahon. Kasi feeling nila walang nagmamahal sa kanila. Iparamdam mo, O Diyos, ang iyong pag-ibig. Be with us today. Give us hope. So we can extend this hope to others as we share our lives may your name be glorified oh God brothers and sisters say this prayer after me Jesus I will be kind to those who are in need to those who are in of your love and of your touch use me Jesus and I know I will receive your miracles in Jesus name Amen when we worship brothers and sisters we are kind to our God and it gives him comfort so now worship him in spirit and in truth God is here God is here Worship Him now. Oh, come, let us adore Him. 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 Oh, 
as we see that, as we prepare for our giving, for those of you who have not have yet the green envelope, ito po yan, ito po yung Christmas gift natin kay Lord, apart from what we give. Our ushers, they have this now with them, okay? You can ask from the ushers, so you can put this and put your gift to Jesus for Christmas. Now, I would like you to watch this video na beatin tayo last week. Itutuloy po ang pelikulang ito. Let's watch. Sisters, the birth of Jesus is living proof that for all of us, despite all the difficulties and trials of life, there is hope. Hindi ako pinanganak na mayaman. Isang kahig, isang tuka. Lahat pinasok ko. Lahat ipinundar ko. Ngunit kahit pagod na pagod na ako, hindi pa rin sapat. Bawat pariyang kinikita ko ay pawis, luha at sakit. Kaya nagsumikap akong abuti ng lahat ng mga pinapangarap ko. Ngunit bakit kahit nasa akin ang lahat, naghihikapos pa rin ang puso ko? Salat, kapos. sa nakilala kita ang nagbibigay ng tunay na kayamanang hindi kayang tumbasan ng salapi ang tunay na kahulugan ng kasiyahan at pagmamahal ang siyang kapos ngunit binigay ang sarili ng lubos in the blessings of life but even in the midst of trials hope remains Ay nariyan ka pa rin. Patuloy na nagmamahal kahit nasasaktan. Ganito pa talaga ang pagmamahal. Patawarin mo ko. Patawarin mo ko. Anak ko. Tapos ang pagkawala ng isang minamahal sa buhay. Heto na, nalalapit na ang huli nating pagkikita. Galak sa puso ko'y hindi maalis. Sabit na akong huling mahagkan at mayabos ka, aking ina. Ngunit wala ka na. Wala na ang pagkakataong ipadama ang pagmamahal 
malasakit ang pag-ibig. Wala na. At sa mga oras na ito, ako'y nag-iisa, nalulumbay, namumulila, tumatangis. At sa aking pangumulila, ikaw na may likha ng lahat ang siyang aking nakapitan. Ikaw o Diyos ko, ang muling nagbalik ng ngiti at pag-asa sa aking puso. Mararamdaman mo ang tunay na diwa ng Pasko hindi dahil sa lamig ng pakiramdam at hangin. Mararamdaman mo ito kung ikaw ay may pag-asa sapagkat ang diwa ng Pasko ay pagbigay sa atin ng pag-asa galing sa buong may kapal. At paghawak mo ng pag-asa, hindi pwedeng sa iyo lang ito. Dapat mo itong ibahagi sa iba sa iyong kapwa upang makapagbigay ka rin ng tamang pag-asa sa iba. At doon magniningning ang iyong Pasko. Merry Christmas everybody. You have hope because Christ is alive. Amen? Sabi mo sa katabi mo, may pag-asa ka pa. Who are first-timers here today? First time yung umatend ng feast, Bellevue. Can we see your hands? We would like to welcome you further as ushers will give you a welcome stop. Okay? Tapos mamaya, just follow the sign that says, Feast uh, Attendees, first time. Thank you for coming here. We welcome you. Let's give a big hand to them, our first-timers. Thank you, Lord. Isa rin po sa pagbibigay natin ng pag-asa as a feast community here in the district. We are helping out and making our project I care very, very big. Kung naalala nyo a few months ago, tayo ay tumulong sa San Roque at nagbigay tayo ng tulong sa mga malalabo po ang mata. Ngayon, dati isang daan ng natulungan natin. Two weeks after New Year, January 14 and 15, we are going to help 600 indigent people in the area of the Vicariate near the Nature's Church. Yan po ang Feast Bellevue, Feast Alabang activity na gusto natin gawin this coming uh, New Year. We need volunteers of ophthalmologists and optometrists. Kailangan po namin kayo. Tumulong po tayo rito. 600, 300 per day. So this will be a Saturday in a Sunday. And we tied up with a big foundation on about eye care. Kaya gusto po namin ma-involve po kayo. Ngayon, if you cannot give your time during those two days, but you can give financially, this is what we did. Gusto natin pag nakakabasa na sila para malaman natin na tama yung glasses na binigay sa kanila, gusto namin pabasa sa kanila yung gabay, yung didaki natin na Tagalog. So, bibili po tayo ng didaki or gabay na 600 pieces for them. And we need your help to purchase the 600 gabay. The good thing about this is our publisher, our SVP, Shepherd's Voice, sa atin naman po yan, they are willing to give it to us for 100 pesos. So, kung feeling ninyo, gusto kong tumulong doon, ah, pwede kayong pumunta sa table mamaya. You can volunteer as a uh, give your time to this, or you can give monetary help to buy the gabay. Ang maganda, yun lang po yung gagasusin talaga natin. Kasi yung mga tumulong last time, marami ho tayong naipon na pera na ipanggagawa natin for that. But we need 600 na gabay worth 100 pesos each. So that is 60,000 pesos. Maniwala kayo, yan sa katabi mong yan. Tingnan mo yung katabi mo. 60,000, walang wala sa kanya yan. Sayaman yan, di ba? Kaya mamaya po, you can go there and then you give or you can pledge. I pledge 10 gabay for, for them. And then you can give your money next time if you want. But this is big thing for us and for them. Okay? Yan po ang outreach natin. We start the year with helping others immediately. Being kind to them. To give comfort to Jesus. Another thing is this. Next year, we are changing some fee schedules all over the district. If you want to know the new schedule, look at the bulletin. Okay? Nandiyan na po ang mga iba-ibang schedule. Bakit? We are closing our fee center in Festival Mall. It is too expensive for us. 
and we would like to transfer it to a smaller venue wherein we can continue our community activities but not the feast anymore. Pero may mga feast pa rin sa festival sa ibang lugar lang. Okay? Pero tingnan niyo po yung bulletin. Pero ito yung good news dito sa lugar natin. We are opening here at Feast Bellevue starting January 8th, our third session in the afternoon. That will start at 2 p.m. with the Mass and 3 p.m. is the Feast. So if you will miss the morning session, go to the afternoon session because we are really growing big. Look around. Tingnan nyo. May mga nakatayo na sa labas. Sa likod. Di ba? Marami ho talaga nakatayo sa labas kasi hindi naman sila nandito. Di ba? Pero sa likod. Yan, punong puno na ho tayo. So we would like to open a afternoon session. The builder there is not me. The builder is Mike Vinyas. Okay? So maraming changes sa district this coming 2017 but we're very, very excited about it. Now, let me pray for your giving. Tayo po tayong lahat. Lift up your Christmas offering to the Lord as well and your love offering and your tithe to Jesus. Ito pong greed envelope. Ako po yung mihingi ng patawad sa inyo. Kasi ito exchange gift po ito eh. Pag binigay nyo ito doon, bibigyan kayo ng regalo galing sa feast payong. Ganun. Hindi, biro lang. <laughs> Naubos ho kanina. Kaya sa bagay, hindi nyo naman kailangan. Nagbibigay naman kayo, hindi para bigyan. Tama po ba? Yan. Kaya ganito na lang. Pagkatapos po ninyo nating ipagdasal, you come to the love offering and you have this, you can give it here. But if you want to give it to me personally, please go to me. Kanina may mga lumapit sa akin, bata ang nagbigay yung mga anak nila. Because, ba, sabi ko sa inyo, let's do this in faith so that it will be a family faith. After the Mass, I will just stand there. You can go to me, give it to me. I, I don't care about the value. The thing is, you wanna, you wanna show that your family is giving as a, as, as a family, then please do that, okay? But if it is fine with you, you can just drop it in the love offering basket. We separate it. What do we use with this? We keep it for Feast Bellevue. So we can do many things here. And January 8, magugulat kayo sa mangyayari po dito. Ha? May surprise guest na tayo, tapos mag-iiba ng konti ang itsura ng ating feast dito sa harapan ninyo. Let's all lift up our offering to Jesus. Bow down your head, close your eyes. Father, we would like to thank you for the many blessings you have given us this year. And what we are about to give is use it as a seed, O oh Lord so that we can be blessed next year and the years to come because we want to bless more people. And so, Father in heaven, receive our gifts to you today and then multiply them with your love and be kind to your people here at the feast. Bless them mightily, O God. And happy birthday to you, Jesus. We love you. And we thank you for blessing us. This we pray in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Merry Christmas, everybody. Let's have the Holy Mass. And then we will see you January 8th. Come, brothers and sisters, with joy. There's a light that shines so bright It's through the black of night I sound the world of us to see As your light comes with victory A danger full of dust and gold Where the world can just be built It's a shame to live the night
thank you so much for your generous giving. Let's all settle down. Let's prepare ourselves for the Holy Ghost. God bless you. Good afternoon, brothers and sisters in Christ. Let us include in our prayers the following intentions flashed on the screen. Welcome to our Eucharistic celebration. We are on the fourth Sunday of Advent. Our Mass presider is Reverend Father John Paul del Rosario. Please stand and join the choir in singing the entrance song. Father all-powerful God, your eternal word took flesh on our earth when the Virgin Mary placed her life at the service of your plan. Lift our minds in watchful hope to what or to hear the voice 
which announces His glory and opens our mind to receive the Spirit who prepares us for His coming. We ask you this through Christ our Lord. We shall now have the lighting of the fourth candle of our Advent wreath. Bless us, dear Father, and make us channels of your peace. Let your light shine from our hearts and from our homes. Mother Mary, help us to say yes to God now that he is asking us to give Jesus to those around us. Help us to do little acts of thoughtfulness and generosity to everyone we meet. You delight us, Lord, with your many surprises. You bless us and take care of us. Thank you, Jesus, for being here with us. Thank you, lover, loving Father, for making us your children. And as we light the last candle, O Lord, we ask for the gift of peace. In a world where wars and conflicts, may peace and harmony reign in our hearts through the presence of Jesus, our Emmanuel. As Christmas is just around the corner, we are filled with excitement at the celebration of the Lord's birth. Show us, Father, that if we keep believing in Jesus and loving Him every day, Christmas too will come every day. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Thank you, my dear family, for leading us into the uh, lighting of the fourth candle. Let us now begin our Eucharist in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear friends, let us now humbly acknowledge our sins and prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and the saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us all to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Pour forth, we beseech you, O Lord, your grace into our hearts, that we to whom the incarnation of Christ, your Son, was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated and listen to the word of God. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. The Lord spoke to Ahaz, saying, Ask for a sign from the Lord your God. Let it be deep as the nether world, or high as the sky. But Ahaz answered, I will not ask. I will not tempt the Lord. Then Isaiah said, Listen, O house of David. Is it not enough for you to weary people? Must you also weary my God? Therefore, the Lord himself will give you this sign. The virgins shall conceive and bear a son and shall name him Emmanuel. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let the Lord enter. He is King of glory. Let the Lord enter. He is King of glory. The Lord's are the earth in its fullness, the world and those who dwell in it. For He founded it upon the seas and established it 
upon the rivers. Let the Lord enter. He is the King of glory. Who can ascend the mountain of the Lord? Or who may stand in his holy place? One whose hands are sinless, whose heart is clean, who desires not what is vain. Let the Lord enter. He is the King of glory. He shall receive a blessing from the Lord, a reward from God his Savior. Such is the race that seeks for him, that seeks the face of the God of Jacob. Let the Lord enter. He is the King of glory. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Paul, a slave of Christ Jesus, called to be an apostle and set apart for the gospel of God, which he promised previously through his prophets in holy scriptures, the gospel about his son descended from David according to the flesh, but established a son of God in power according to the spirit of holiness through resurrection from the dead, Jesus Christ our Lord. Through him, we have received the grace of apostleship to bring about the obedience of faith for the sake of his name among all the Gentiles, among who are you also who are called to belong to Jesus Christ, to all the beloved of God in Rome, called to be holy. Grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please stand. shall conceive and bear a son and, and they, they shall, shall name him Emmanuel the Lord be with you and with your spirit a proclamation from the gospel according to Saint Matthew glory to you O Lord this is how the birth of Jesus Christ came about when his mother Mary was betrothed to Joseph but before they lived together she was found with child through the Holy Spirit Joseph, her husband, since he was a righteous man, yet unwilling to expose her to shame, decided to divorce her quietly. Such was his intention when, behold, the angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream and said, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary into your home, for it is through the Holy Spirit that this child has been conceived in her. She will bear a son, and you shall name him Jesus because he will save his people from their sins. All this took place to fulfill what the Lord had said through the prophet. Behold, the virgin shall conceive and bear a son, and they shall name him Emmanuel, which means God is for us. When Joseph awoke, he did as the angel of the Lord had commanded him and took his wife into his home. Sisters and brothers, the good news of our salvation. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Good afternoon, my dear friends. Magandang hapon po. Kindly greet your seatmates. Good afternoon and happy Sunday. Good afternoon po. Pakibati. Ngiti kayo. Kunyari masaya kayong katabi nyo sila. Dali. Uh, Merry Christmas po. 
Oh, hindi ba hindi ko po kayo makita ng December the 25th? Ako na po ang babati. Napakarami kong ninong. Di, ninong? Kamusta kay ninong? Ang dami ko. Oh, sila ninang. Oh, ninong. Naku, napakarami kong ninong at ninang dito ngayon. Anyway, we have a very, very solemn celebration this, uh, this afternoon in our Eucharist. We have now lighted the fourth candle in our Advent treat, signifying that we have taken time to prepare for the coming of the Lord. Apat na linggo, we have taken time. Why do we need to take time to prepare for the coming of the Lord? Because he or she who takes time shows love to the beloved. Di po ba? Totoo po yan. If you are willing to waste your time for a beloved, mahal mo yan. Di po ba? Mahal mo yan. Because you are willing to spend and waste your time with him or her. Sino dito mga single? Taas ang kamay. Oh, ayaw umami ng iba. Hala, 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 Di ba yung mga single? Pag may nanliligaw sa inyo, ay, makinig kayo, makinig kayo sa akin. Pag may nanliligaw sa inyo at minamadali kayo, huwag mong sagutin yan. Ay, huwag mong sagutin yan. Bakit? Kailangan sinasagot ka agad, unlimited. Di ba? Kaya kamay at maya. Hindi, hindi. Huwag, huwag mong muna sasagutin. Bakit? He who does not want to spend more time to prepare, is not worthy of your love because he who is willing to painstakingly endure in time is the one who shows much love because true love waits. Ulitin nyo nga yun. Ah, pagkatunay na nagmamahal, marunong mag-antay. Oh, apat na linggo po tayo nag-antay. Next week, ayan na, alam na, Merry Christmas na. Pero, we took time to prepare for the coming of Christ. Because only in spending time can we truly fill with meaning our reception of Christ. Alam mo yung parang pagka importante importante yung darating sa iyong buhay. Maglilinis ka naman ng bahay, magpe-prepare ka naman ng magandang pagkain. You put estimation to your visitor. Hindi po ba? Ganyan tayo mga Pilipino eh. Nung araw, yung mga pinggan namin babasagin, nasa cabinet, kailan lang siya lumalabas. Pag may bisita kami, in the meanwhile, wala lang bisita, ano, ang pinggan namin, Jollibee. Na, Kinukupas-kupas na si Jollibee doon. Pero pag may bisita, we put forward what's best. We clean the house. Mag-aagyo ka, magwawalis ka, bakit? It shows you love. That is also the same manner why we have four Sundays. Because these Sundays show us that we are willing to take time to prepare because someone coming to us is so important. We want to show Him we love Him. We love the Lord, aren't, don't we? Diba? We love the Lord. Kaya nga, we took time eh. Kaya nga, within this period, yung intense prayer, sabi ng simbahan, magdadasal tayo ng mataimtim, we will get reconciled. We will get reconciled with one another and with God. We purify our consciences all for the sake of Christ. Nagbigay po ako ng First Communion for the very first time sa mga bata sa aking parokya noong two Saturdays ago. And you know, it's always a privilege to give Jesus for the very first time to innocent souls because it redounds to me kung paano kung maging makasalanan. Di ba? Eh, pero bago sila mag-first ano, mag Communion, they had time to memorize the prayer, yung Our Father, Kasi ang alam lang nilang prayer dati, bless us, O Lord, di ba? Parang kayo, ang alam nyo lang prayer, bless us, O Lord, lunchtime na, di ba? And one of the things they had to do with me is to confess their sins. Oh, how, how, how I love to hear the confession of children. Yan na talagang privilege para sa akin. You get to see the truthfulness of the child. Di ba? And all their, of course, truthfulness, kidding aside, talagang very truthful sila. Lalapit yan. Bless me, Father, for I have sinned. Okay. This is my last confession. Ay, this is my first confession ever. Hmm, but may ever. Sabi kong gano'n. May isang nag-confess sa akin, Father, bless me for I have sinned. Oh, what are your sins? Actually, Father, this is my first confession. Actually, Father, I hit my brother. Actually, Father, makulit ako. Actually, Father, I'm, I'm naughty. Ang daming actually, artista ka ba? Actually, dito boy, yung next project ko. Di ba mga ganun mga artista? 
Puro actually yung bata. Ngayon, may lalapit pa. Bless me, Father, for I have seen the truthfulness of a child. Ha? In raw reality. Oh, what are your sins? Father, I hit my brother. Oh, why did you hit my, your brother? Eh, kasi siya naman yung nauna eh. G galit? Galit ka? Ano? G ganyan yan. Very raw, but very truthful. Bless me, Father, kasi po, I stole from my mama's purse. Oh, why did you steal? Oh, bakit ka? Magkano? Magkano yung ninakaw mo? Father, two pesos po. Eh, why did you steal? Father, eh, two pesos lang naman eh. Mag <laughs> Ang kulit na ito, di ba? Nanginginig yung isang bata. He was just seven years old. Nanginginig siya. Father, I don't know how to confess. Okay, don't worry. Chill. Chillax, chillax. I'll lead you. You repeat after me. Ha? You repeat after me. Bless me, Father, for I have sinned. Nanginginig ba yan? Bless me, Father, for I have sinned. This is my first confession. This is my first confession. And these are my sins. And these are my sins. Sabi ko, oh, what are your sins? Sabi niya, oh, what are your sins? <laughs> Bakit ako? Nangaano ka eh? Hindi ka mang inaano? Hindi ba? Hindi naman ako nagkukumpis ang ano yung siya kasalanan ko. Because they are truthful. Hindi ba? May isa pa, ako confess. Bless me, Father, for I have sinned. Okay, what are your sins? Tingin siya sa akin. And I looked at him. And he looked at me. And I looked at him. Alam mo yung awkward na? Tingin lang siya sa akin ganyan, no? After two minutes, awkward na. Kur, 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 kur. And finally, I asked him, Oh, what are your sins? Sabi niya, Father, I don't have any sin. Mama Mary, ikaw ba yan? <laughs> the truthfulness, pero at least prepared, not prepared. To take time. Eh, because the Lord took time. Why not? Why won't we take four weeks to prepare? Eh, the Lord took forever to reach this point in which the angel would manifest himself to Joseph. So that the consistency of the message to Joseph compared to that of Mary would make Joseph decide in favor of God. Kita niyo yung conundrum, yung problema. Here you have Mary betrothed to Joseph, but they are not married yet. There are two phases in the Jewish marriage, right? Betrothal and actual marriage. In the betrothal, pinagkasundo kayo, but you don't get to sleep together. Not yet. Eh, nabunti si Mama Mary. Betrothed pa lang. So, in the eyes of the people, Mama Mary is disgraciada. Why? Because they are not afforded with the revelation of the Gabriel, uh, angel Gabriel to Mother Mary. It was not a public event. The Annunciation is not a public event. It was a revelation to Mary. Sino nakakaalam na siya yung nagdadalang tao lang ng Spiritu Santo? Si Mary! At yung Angel at ang Diyos. Alam ng taong bayan? No! Which is why in the eyes of the, of the people, Mary is disgraciada. But you see, here you have Joseph wanting to divorce her quietly. And, and God, in His wisdom, makes Himself manifest to Joseph. Yung consistency ng message kay Mary sa napanaginipan ni Joseph, made Joseph decide at magtataya siya kay Mama Mary against all odds. Bakit? Sino nakakaalam ng panaginip ni Joseph? Eh, di siya. Sino nakakaalam ng consistency ng panaginip niya at, pa, at the revelation kay Mother Mary? Silang dalawa. And the Lord. And when you have the Lord, public opinion does not matter anymore. Ang tawag natin dyan, silang dalawa, hashtag against all odds yan. Totoo. Dahil kayong tatlo lang ng Diyos ang nakakaalam ng revelation eh. But you have to take your chance because that is the will of God. Hindi importante iniisip ng tao kung disgrasyada ka, kung kumuha ka ng disgrasyada. Hindi. Ang importante dyan is that you obey God at nagtataya ka kay Mama Mary. You are taking your chance on Mother Mary because you know that is taking a chance for the family at taking a chance for God. 
Yan ang entire story ng revelation kay Joseph. He was taking his chance for the family to be created because it's the will of God against the will of the popular people. Alam po ninyo, maganda ito. Ito magandang reflection natin as we come to the Christmas season. Ito po'y pagtataya sa pamilya. What Joseph did is to take a chance sa family. Ah, eh, babato ko yung tanong sa inyo. In your family, in the Christmas season, maganda titignan mo rin, have I been taking my chance on my family? Have I been putting my faith in my family members? Kasi kadalasan tayo tayo mga magkaka... Diba, tayo tayo mga magkakapamilya, tayo tayo nag-aaway. Tayo tayo magkakapatid, tayo nag-aaway sa lupa. Tayo tayo mga mag-aasawa, tayo tayo naglalaglagan sa mga biyan at mamanugang. Diba, tayo tayo magkakapatid, tayo tayo nag-aaway over Facebook. Dahu itong kapatid kong ito. Eh dalawa lang naman kayo magkapatid. Diba? It's about time you take a chance or you, you look back into your life and see, have I been taking a chance on my family members also? Because the situation was far from ideal. Kung si Joseph ang masusunod, maganda pakasalan mo yung walang sabit. But the situation may not be ideal, but this is a taking a chance on family. Your families may never be perfect. My family is never perfect. Meron ba dito perfecto ang pamilya? Sige po, kayo nang pumalit sa Belen. Asa ba yung Belen natin? Kayo na. Insensuhan na namin kayo. Wala tayong Belen. Kayo na. Ba, ma, my family is not perfect. You would think si Father galing sa pamilyang matino. Hindi rin. My family is not perfect. But my family, my family is the greatest persons in my life. Thank you. Hindi <laughs> ba? Kaya gustong-gusto ko yung nagre-reunion. Sandali, sasabihin nyo pagka over the time na ako, ha? Oo, kasi kaya ko magsalita hanggang alas 6, iiyak kayo, tingnan nyo. <laughs> Tell me if it's my time, ha? My, my, share ko lang, ano? I take a chance on my family even if I did choose my family. Did you choose your own family? I did, ako, I did not. I grew up in the consciousness where my papa is my papa and my mama is my mama and my aunties are my aunties and my titos are my titos. If I had a choice, marami sa mga tiyuhin at tiyahin ko tanggal sa angkang ko. <laughs> eh, mga mahadera din minsan eh. Pero I didn't have that choice. It's God's choice. And I have to take a chance on them because they are my blood, my flesh. And my spirit also. If I had a choice, I would change my Lola. Although I, I love my Lola. I love my Lola. I only have one Lola left. Sabi ko nga kay Lola, La, ikaw lang nang tira. Ibig sabihin niya, ikaw ang masamang damo. Oh, siya lang natira. Yung tatlo, umulis na. Siya kumakapit pa. Ayoko pa! Ayoko pa! Ano, totoo yan. It's all, pag magre-reunion, it's always bittersweet. Parang, parang may experience kang maasim na matamis, no? Yung matamis, maasim. Pero yun eh, that, that's life eh. Ma, I, I, I am not proud of the fact that my lola is matapobre, for example. Lahat minamata ng lola ko, minamatay nagtitinda ng ampalaya, minamatay nagtitinda ng talong, minamatay yung driver, minamatay yung conductor, lahat minamata niya. Hindi naman kami kayamanan. Hindi naman siya kagandahan. Lawlaw naman yung dito nga. But she is my Lola. I have to love my Lola. I am not equally proud of my parents. When my papa was still alive, my parents tend to fight. And when they fight, we blush as kids. Kasi pagka yung mga magulang ko nag-aaway, nagliliparan lahat ng mga mura sa aming bahay. Rinig ng kapitbahay yan. Paglabas namin sa bahay, lahat kami nakatalukbong. Sahiya. I am not proud of that. Subukan yung pumunta sa bahay namin after mag-away ng mga magulang ko. Kuha ka ng barbecue stick. Ang daming naiwang mura sa kisame. Ay, ang daming mura dito. <laughs> ah, ah, kain na kayo ng mura. I am not proud of that, but they are my parents. When we were growing up, ito paniniwala ka, grade 2 pa lang ako. My sisters are in grade 3 and grade 4. My brother, little brother, was only in prep. We already formed a corporation. That's how advanced we were. Ganon kami tinuturuan ng mga magulang namin. Meron kaming ginawang corporation, may J. Jocon Corporation. 
I had I'm I'm I have always been the big saver in the family. Wala akong masyadong gastos eh. Ang paniwala ko kasi, pag pogi ka, hindi mo kailangan gastosan. Do, minsan po protesta, ikaw yun na maghumili. Po protesta kayo diyan. Ako may hawak ng mic, makinig kayo. Pero nga, I gave in 13 pesos from my ba- from my baon. Grade 2, 13 pesos back then. Malaking bagay yun. My sister put in 2 pesos. Another sister of mine made 250. My little brother gave Ben 5 centimos. We finally have 17 pesos in our account. Medjejo Con Corporation. After 2 days, naubos yung pera. Nasaan yung pera? Nagastos eh. Parang alam mo yun, gusto kong magalit sa sama ng loob na yung baong kong ininvest ko sa unang corporation namin in two days, nagpa-file na ng bankruptcy yung kapatid ko. Sinasabi ko, nang dahil sa 13 pesos, nakilala ko kayo. Marami akong sama ng loob sa mga kapatid ko. But in times of problems, in times of ta- ta- in the times when we need to help one another, I just have to take a chance on them. Anong gustong kurso? Oh, ito daw ang gustong kurso. Let's take a chance on him. My brother finished political science and he was expected to work. Pero ang puso niya nasa pagluluto. After magtrabaho for a while, talagang hindi na kaya. Sabi niya, I want to study culinary. Oh, that's nice. Magkano tuition fee? Nung sinabi sa amin yung tuition fee, para akong tinadyakan sa balak. Ah. We talk among ourselves. Anong gagawin natin? Yung nasa puso ni Bunso, luto. Gusto natin siya maging professional, ang gusto niya magluto. And so we had to take a chance on him. Ayun, sa awa ng Diyos, sa, sa government na naman ngayon. <laughs> Hindi po, may, may catering service na siya. Hindi ba? Meron na siyang sarili niyang company. We, we took a chance on him. Ang punto ko lang ganito, my dear friends, ano? ayoko magpaulit-ulit. There are times in the family, you would find yourselves in situations that are far from ideal. Bumagsak, nalugi, nakabuntis, nakaaksidente, natokhang. <laughs> Ito to yun. What would you do to them if they are your blood? Sino-sino magtutulungan? Namatayan. Nung namatay yung aking tiyahin, my cousins have a lot of uh, he still owes us that much. E namatay, ano yan? As, as hospital lang yung bangkay niyan? Ang gagawin natin bilang magkakamag-anak? Ano yan, tutubusin ng PCSO? Hindi! Sino ang tutulungan? We take a chance on them. Kahit lubog sa utang yan. My point is, you have to take your chance in times when situations are far from ideal. That was what Joseph did to Mother Mary. At times when Mama Mary needed help, he was there to take us his, his chance on her. And that made us, my dear friends, the miracle of the first family. You go back to your families over Christmas. Tinan nyo yung sarili nyo ngayon. Natin. Have I been taking my chance on my family members who did me wrong, who did me injustice, who I don't like? Eh, pero wala eh. Dugo mo yan. And you have to take a chance on them. Amen? Mahina. Ayaw. Nangungutang na naman kasi, no? We stand and we proclaim our faith. I believe in God. The Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there, he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. The loving mercy of the Father is made visible in Jesus, the Emmanuel, or the God with us. With confidence we pray to Him and say, Graciously hear us, O Lord. Graciously hear us, O Lord. 
that our religious and government leaders may stand firm in their reliance on God and find strength in Him amidst trials and difficulties, we pray. Graciously hear us, O Lord, that fathers of families may be like St. Joseph, who is just, concerned for Mary, and open to God's will, we pray. Graciously hear us, O Lord, that young people may learn from the example of Mary and Joseph, who make Jesus the center of their lives, we pray. Graciously hear us, O Lord, that Filipinos away from home and family this Christmas may be comforted by the prayers and affections of their loved ones and by the goodwill of their neighbors, we pray. Graciously hear us, O Lord, that as Christmas draws near, we may experience the peace, comfort, and joy that Jesus, our Savior and Emmanuel brings, we pray. Graciously hear us, O Lord. Listen to our prayers, O Father, and grant them in your mercy, for we ask you this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. May the Holy Spirit, O Lord, sanctify these gifts upon your altar, just as He filled with His power the womb of the Blessed Virgin Mary. We ask you this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For all the oracles of the prophets foretold him, the Virgin Mother longed for him with love beyond all telling. John the Baptist sang of his coming and proclaimed his presence when he came. It is by his gift that already we rejoice at the mystery of his nativity, so that he may find us watchful in prayer and exultant in his praise. With the angels and the saints, we praise you now, as in joyful exultation we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed, Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. 
Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At a time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of our faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection, you, you have, have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate this afternoon the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, O Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Pope Francis, with Bishop Jesse, and all our clergy. Remember, Lord, all our beloved departed brothers and sisters. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. the grace so we can take a chance on our family as shown to us by Saint Joseph. We now pray the Lord's Prayer. Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may always be free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. 
For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I live you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of our Lord be always with you. And with your spirit. Let us now greet one another and offer them the peace of Jesus. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb, Lamb of God, God you, you take, take away, away the sins. sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Jesus who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Let us now receive the Lord. For an orderly receiving of Holy Communion by Rose, please allow our ushers to guide you.
Please stand. And let us pray. Having received this pledge of eternal redemption, we pray, Almighty God, that as the feast day of our salvation draws ever nearer, we may press forward all the more eagerly to the worthy celebration of the mystery of your Son's nativity, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. I may not be able to greet you on the Christmas day, a Merry Christmas, but, a Merry Christmas, but I do so now. Maligayang Pasko po at manigong bagong taon sa inyong lahat. Merry Christmas, Father. It is my prayer and hope that you get to spend your time in the Christmas seasons with the family and be able to relish the love that God has for you because and through them. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you and your loved ones, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Glorify God now by taking a chance on your family. The Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Thanks, salamat po. In behalf of the entire Feast Bellevue family, we would like to thank Reverend Father John Paul del Rosario for celebrating the Holy Eucharist with us. Thank Welcome. you, Father. Welcome po. Thank you, Father.